QFi. It's one of the best devices I have been using for a while now. In the box we have the device itself, micro USB charging cable and the user manual. The device is a Wi-Fi router, it has a LAN board. Once you connect any internet LAN cable, you will get Wi-Fi signal 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Second, the device is a power bank with 6000 milliamp. It can charge your phone one or two times, depend on your battery capacity. The third function of the device is SD card reader. You can use it by turning off the power of the device, connect it to your PC, and you are good to go. You have full size SD card and micro SD card reader, also CFast. The last function and the most important one, that it is a media share hub. You see here the device have many slots, SD card, micro SD card, CFast slot and USB port. You can insert any memory drive, whether it's SD card, flash memory, hard disk or even CFast. And you can browse it from your smartphone without using any cable. All you need is to install the application like ES File Explorer or Explore for both Android and iOS. First download ES File Explorer. If you didn't find it in the App Store, you can download it as APK from the link in the description below. After the installation, turn on the device, then open the Wi-Fi menu in your phone and connect to this device Wi-Fi network which is Cloud Wi-Fi. Using the default password from 1 to 8, of course you can change it if you like. After this, open the application, open the menu, under network choose FTP, then FTP again. Next, enter the device IP which is 192.168.168.1. The username is admin and the password also is admin. And finally add the display as, write any name that you want. Then press OK. Of course you need to insert any memory card or flash memory and immediately it will show on your smartphone. Now you can open anything on the flash drive, whether it's Excel, Word, video, audio, pictures or any other file types. You can take a copy to your smartphone or the other way around you can transfer file from your smartphone to the memory card or the USB flash. You can also rename or delete any file and you can insert and browse more than one memory unit at the time. You can easily transfer the files between them. As I mentioned before there is other application you can use it which is explore. Also same way open the application after you download and install of course. From the main menu choose FTP then add server. At label name write what you like. Server IB is the same. Username and password same also as before admin and admin. Then press save and you are good to go. I used this device with the Nvidia Shield. It was excellent for me, especially that the Nvidia Shield has new USB ports. It have only micro SD card slot and it's very hard to reach. And finally, if you are connected to the device Wi-Fi, it will be no internet. And in this case, you need to connect a LAN cable between the device and your router. That time you will have internet access and the media hub share in the same time. It's very useful to use it to expand the Wi-Fi signal at your place. And also on the go, if you are traveling too much, you can use the power bank and the SD card reader. Especially if you get to a hotel has no Wi-Fi, only LAN cable, this device will save your day. That will be all for now. I will leave the links in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I will see you in the next video.